Hello everyone, I'm Splinter Cell God and welcome back to Fallout 4. So last time we found out exactly why my son was taken through teleportation. So now we have returned to the real world. We're going to talk to Nick, see if we can find our son. Alright, let's get out of here. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Whoa. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, if you've got company already. So if I already maxed out the perk for her, then maybe I could do it for him. So let's go ahead and um, spend. Talk? <laughs> I'll keep Piper. Yeah, let's let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Send Piper to Sanctuary Hills. All right, Nick. It's just you and me. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Is hidden forever. Not if I have my say. Now I know you all are doing your own bit, but I Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can make it. How's my favorite girl feeling? Didn't I see you on a date with Morowski the other day? Huh. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye Feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins! That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that lardhead. But stay focused. Now, I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. The only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? Not, not us! At which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? My yeah. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! Of the, of the people! For the people! The people. I heard you off that freedom trail. What, you some kind of... History buff. All right. <coughs> the glowing sea. Let's go to the silver shroud. Well, 
It's been a long time, brother. I haven't seen you in ages. Alright, let's go talk. Got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. No, I'm not. Excuse me. Good neighbor's crazy. Babs murders worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. But, but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. Wow. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I should try something. So, I'm a time traveler. I just got back from visiting George Washington. Now you're just playing with me. Though that would be pretty neat. You know what would be even neater? What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Hmm. Good on you for trying to make the world better. Yeah, most folks refuse to be bothered. I just have to do something, you know? Oh. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Hmm. Will you help? <laughs> just quick save it again. I might do it, if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. I'll yeah. get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. Hmm. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. <laughs> Sweet. Let's go. Let's go find that costume. Ah, such a great game. Can't believe this brotherhood of stealers just like I'm not buying that. We Short come in peace, Malarkey. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town. Sammy We've got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell us? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. <coughs> Glad you took care of him. Thanks. At least synth doubles died is like the real thing, right? Adios. I was totally unexpected. The fact that he just freaking died like that. Yeah. You're blocking my light, man. Buddy, I need to be a lot more high or a lot more drunk to be bothered right now. You step through the gate, you got balls. What, you need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen, Hotel Rexford. I want to get out of here. This place is a maze. Amazing. That was not funny. Sorry. Now that we got Nick on our side, we'll finally be able to do some stuff. But I think we can level up, so let's do that right now. After we watch this Tommy gun spin around.
Still going. There it goes. Pretty scary bear. Okay. Let's go find the costume. Waiting for the game to load, game to load, game to load. Waiting for the game to load because it's freaking awesome. Looking at my webcam, looking at little blue lights, looking at my Logitech, it's really, really bright. How? Well, whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of these guys down here. August pre-orders. You just say the word. You're always out of way with machines. <laughs> I wonder where the safe is. Where's the safe? There's a safe somewhere. Comic store terminal. What the? Ah! <laughs> Scavenger's note. <coughs> K 
Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. So who's the fool here? Them or us? I don't know. I can hear you guys. I'm not deaf. I can hear you. The hell of a room is that? I don't know. Grognak's axe. <laughs> Whoa. Thirty seven damage. Cool. Sure is dark down here. Legendary. Whoa. Another scavenger's list. How many lists are there? Oh, it's a note. <coughs> oh. Axe too heavy. Comic books, storeroom, pick the lock. Damn monkey creeps me out. Ooh, radiated flamer. Cool. Oh, give me some lighter too. That was nice of him. Oh, there it is. The silver shroud. Be a lot more pleasant without that thing shining in our faces. Sorry. I love this 50 cal, it's so great.
<laughs> Tina Hopkins. Oops. English Butler. Hmm. Oh wait, there's another page. Oh, all right, that's right, we leveled up. What should we do now? Rank three armor mods. <laughs> Let's do charisma again. Yeah, that's a bunker. Yeah. October twenty second, two thousand seventy. Mm-hmm. Jeffrey, Lee got the recorder. Brotherhood of Steel recon. Sticky, you old bucket of bull. Nightera Aslan, Brotherhood of Steel recon team four two nine alpha serial number three four three one. It's been three hours since I set my distress pulse. There's been no word from the Paladin or Terra. Their objective was a satellite array on the coast. They may be out of range. My orders were to hold this position at all costs. The entire site has been overrun. The door won't last much longer. Paladin Brandon, sir. It's been an honor, sir. Well, the Paladin comes go right through the door. Thank you, mods. Sweet. What's that? 
lucky metal chess piece. Forty-four pistol. Camera. Legendary rad roach. So this is what two centuries without a good dusting looks like. Yeah. Something out there. Blowing one. Whoa. Wow. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I'm just about done here. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I am Splinter Cell God. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye.